Welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. Today I'm going to take you to one of the places I'd like some help on for my Patreons, well from my Patreons, to help me design and build something. So let's get some sleep real quick. And then we're going to go over to the area I would like some help with. The help I need is with Spawn. So I have Spawn marked. You can see it over yonder. It's that tall pillar over there. So let's go over there and have a little bit of a look. Alright, so here is Spawn. This is where you spawn into the world and where uh, your journey and Angel Wolf's journey begins. Well, at least my journey began when I released the world to my Patreons and to eventually uh, regular viewers. This is where you will spawn in at. And I need some help with designing this from my Patreons only. Uh, I thought of... Oh, well, that's the wrong button. That's the button I wanted. F3 and G for chunk view. Wow. I was thinking about... It's on chunk board. Holy crap. I was thinking about designing it all in one chunk, but that might not be entirely possible, I mean, and that seems kind of lazy. I was just going to build it in a single chunk and basically create a box, a small fortress, starter stuff, and all that, but that seems kind of uh, boring and lazy. I would like some help on how to make this single chunk or this area a little bit better without deforming too much of the terrain. Obviously we're going to have to terraform the terrain to some degree. I can go into uh, NBT editor and I can set the spawn radius to zero. Right now it's set to 10 so it will spawn in a 10 block radius around the spawn point. But I could set it to spawn directly on the spawn point. And I would I would like that. I would prefer that. But I just want something nice here. Maybe fit the theme of the beach a little bit. Uh, it's going to be multi-level if I can have my way. Because there's going to be some starter farms and starter food that you'll be able to easily get and uh, there will be farms throughout the area and the world so you, this would just be easy hey you're here here's some food here's some tools and weapons that uh, got collected from the spawners and put in here so you can automatically gear up or if you lose your spawn point because your bed got blown up uh, you can easily re-gear to get back to where you were so you can gear up properly but this this is spawn point this is the help I need let's go into third person mode and give you a bird's eye view a bit of the area This is the area we're dealing with. Like, if you really wanted to incorporate the entire part here, that might be doable. 
it gets a little close to the bridge on the edge there. So you, that's why I wanted to try and keep it one chunk. But if it was like five chunks, this being the main chunk, and then uh, like a, a two wing chunks in each corner. Like, like it looked like a, a five spot die. That would be kind of awesome. Maybe like a castle. If somebody has me castle would be great. Because I think a castle would be great here. Tall enough, big enough, to multiple levels, multiple farms, being able to gear up. There's some place that looks nice and awesome. I'm kind of terrible at building. That's kind of why I'm asking for your help. So if anybody has any ideas, I would greatly appreciate those from my Patreons only. It's only $5 a month. Uh, you get a producer credit. You get to see the video one day early. And you get to help me design things like this. So... If you would like to be a part of that, you can subscribe for $5 a month. Uh, otherwise, a like, favorite, and subscribe is very welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's get right back into it. Alright, after the last video, let's go on a little bit more of a tour and a wander around. I've got many plans, many ideas for my world. I've already marked some uh, spawners in MC Edit with uh, some cobblestone, just simple cobblestone. Uh, and I, I stopped doing that when I realized I could turn stuff like that into a video. So we'll be doing something like that for the beta 1.7 uh, 3 7.3 terrain and marking all the spawners and uh, that'll be an episode or two and then after that in the actual world uh, conquering these one at a time would be a video too but uh, let's get back to the zero zero point and have a look around there a little bit. I'm not sure I've given a proper tour of that yet, but I also have a lot of plans for that. Uh, and that's another thing I may need some help with my Patreons for, but I think the layout is mostly set the way I wanted it to be, mostly making it more functional. So here is the zero zero point. I have done some duping and things like that. I've got a ton of books for enchanting tables for later. There's most of my stuff that I had just with wandering around and designing this structure. So let's let's start at the bottom. So down here I intend to be the nether room. I I intend this to be where you will access the nether. Like knock out this block, you go one more block, and put another portal there, and that's how you will enter the nether on all four axes. But, as I can see, I haven't traveled more than about a block in the nether. There's eight blocks in the overworld, there's one block in the nether. So I could probably have finagle that a little bit in the nether, but we're not going to the nether until 1.16 when they updated the nether. Or was it 1.15? I think it was 1.16. So, 
I'll have to figure out how to enable that, but that's for a later time. But this was this is going to be the the Nether Crossroads, the Nether Hub. And then in the next section I have plans for here too. Now remember I'm only accepting ideas from my Patreons. It's only five dollars a month. You get a producer credit, you get to see the video one day early, and you get to uh, help me design things. But I'm just showing you around and telling you what my plans are. This is going to be the subway level. Because I intend to have a, uh, a subway network underground that links to all the stuff in each version of the world. Like the beta 1.7.3 terrain, all the stuff that's here will be linked by a subway. I am still thinking about some ideas, and if my patrons have any good ideas for how to link up a subway using through here so that it's only one track are one set of tracks, one three by three square with a coming and going line, that'd be great. Um, because it linking into here, because this isn't complete, uh, but I intend this to be a glass pillar all the way up with lava throwing, flowing through it, just to help with some ambient lighting. You know, pretty the place up a little bit, but and, you know, making this place look nice too. And then this level is the entrance and greeting level, and this is gonna be where you quote unquote purchase your tickets to ride the Cross Chunk Expressway, which is that it is nighttime. I might want to sleep just to avoid mobs and all that. Alright, that is what this bridge is, and I have it going in all four directions. I call it the Cross Chunk Expressway, and this will be the main way I intend, if you want to go the slow overland route, uh, across to different versions, like you get to the terrain changes, and then in further out in the world, it goes from zero zero in all four cardinal directions. But this will be the t where you purchase your tickets and all that. Possibly some foodstuffs here or things to buy, but unlikely. This is the level I want you to have your foodstuffs, the food court, things to buy, like a uh, like that thing in the airport. The, uh, the duty free store and the food court where you'll have like vegetables like potatoes and carrots and things like that wheat and bread and uh, chicken and beef and lamb and all that to buy and pork already cooked and all that this is going to be the food court and the duty free store and level the next level, I think this is level 4, is where you will depart. This is the departure. This is the departure platform. This is where you'll leave to go out to the different chunks. I don't think I showed you south, so I could take you south a little bit. So let's go south a little bit, because I've got a wintry world. Uh, to the south. I'd like to show you that at least a little bit. Uh, this is all going to be tracks and some glass covering. I've experimented with the north section. Gotta eat a little bit. It's just I made a bunch of golden apples, god apples, uh, in 1.8 before they changed the, the recipe to only be golden apples that heal much less. These are the god apples. Here's 
here's the winter section where it starts. I'm also thinking about a place to put my chunk duping section. That's way, way south where I want to put it. But uh, this is the Sutherland, Sutherland route that leads to another cross chunk base and leads to the terrain changes. You can see where it went from ice to now forest all in one go. And I do not have an easy way back. And then it automatically is icy, but it still says forest. Let's see what F3 has to say. Now it says forest. Uh, this was wintry. Oh, well, looks like I have a spawner. Oh. Not close enough for it to spawn. Let me just take a look at this. In F3, or not F3 mode, but uh, third person mode. Oh, this looks like it's a skeleton spawner. It's, maybe it's a happenstance that the skeleton spawned. That's interesting. Alrighty then. Should be the southern wind route. So let's walk on that because I was a bright person. I don't need F3. So yeah, we can get right back on the train. Yeah. This was all in beta 1.7.3, and it did some weird winterland areas. Now this says ocean, which is amusing. This still says ocean. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back. If you're wondering about the texture pack, I am using Doku Craft. I, it's a high resolution texture pack. I'm using the 32 by 32 textures because I have a good computer, but not the greatest computer. And I can't handle the 128 by 128 or even 64 by 64. And I just like the nice high resolution 32 by 32. And it looks nice. Let's talk about the next level up on the chunk base, or the zero zero base. So that this is the cross chunk expressway departure platform. You know, showing off the I covered this in glass to try and protect riders from arrows and things like that and mobs spawning on it. So just so there's no surprise. So let's go to the next level, the Observation Deck, the Lounge, let's call it the Lounge. This is going to have a glass encasement that goes all the way to build height, and then there's going to be lava in the middle that is nice accent lighting. I was experimenting with lighting with some jack-o'-lanterns. I've started building a map wall. I'm still uh, thinking about this. And this is more stuff that I have to build with you guys. I did the first couple of uh, areas. Like th this square in the middle is beta 1.7.3 terrain. And this is 1.1 and 1.0. This is 1.2, uh, this is 1.0, this is 1.1, or this is 1.2. But I have to do that all with you too. That could be another 
video of just expanding the map. What I wanted to do was cut it on the floor. I cut the major over area, the overworld map, in one section. And then in the next section, the local map. And I was thinking about doing that four times just to make things easier. I'm still thinking about that. Uh, this is the observation deck, and I was thinking about this be the Elytra landing point, so to speak. A bit of an amble here with some of the iron. Um, but yeah, that's just some of the things I planned to do with zero zero, the zero zero base. Now, remember, if you want to pitch me ideas, you have to be on my Patreon. That's the only place I'm going to accept any ideas or thoughts from, and only if I ask for them. Uh, it's only $5 a month. You get a producer credit. You get a uh, see the videos one day early, and you get to help me build and design stuff. You don't get to come into the world and help me build, but you get to show me things that you find interesting that might suit my needs. As long as you don't claim they're yours. Is it, you know, if they are yours, sure. But if they're somebody else's build, don't claim them to be yours. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will leave you off here. Till next time, bye. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thank you.